And there's one person who might be more excited than everyone else. Bill Ford, the driving force behind the renovation. I got a chance to sit down one on one with the executive chair of Ford Motor Company to pick his brain about why he brought this dream to life. Mr. Ford, Hi. hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. He explained to me exactly why he wanted Michigan Central to be open to the public. The one thing from day one I didn't want this to be was a corporate takeover of th this neighborhood or this building. And it's very collaborative. Even next door, you know, we have 97 startups and a lot of them aren't working with Ford. They're working with Stellantis or GM, other companies. Some aren't working with OEMs at all. That's exactly what I wanted because if this is really going to work for Detroit and for our industry, it's got to be an open platform. Were you inspired by what other cities are doing anywhere else? Yes, always, um, because I travel all over the world and I could see, you know, what was possible. Um, and I knew what Detroit once was. And to me, the seminal moment though, is I was on a board of a Silicon Valley company and I could see all the energy and creativity around new innovation, new startups, and all the financial ecosystem around that happening out there. And I knew that if we didn't change things here, that the future of transportation was not going to be invented in Detroit, it was going to be invented somewhere else. You guys couldn't be anywhere. Why do you continue to invest in Detroit? This is our hometown. Um, I love this city. Um, and, you know, and our family's been committed to this city for many, many years, whether it's, you know, the Henry Ford Health System, Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn. You know, I redid the Rouge plant and made it, you know, took it from the world's biggest brownfield site to the greenest assembly plant. The Detroit Institute of Arts, you know, my family was instrumental in building that into what it is today. You know, Ford Field, obviously, something that, you know, I was personally very involved with. So, you know, we've, we've had a history of believing in our city and believing in our region. Um, and this, I think, is, you know, going to be another proof point that, you know, this is our place. Uh, this is our city. And for a long time, many people have seen Michigan Central as a symbol for the city of Detroit. What symbol do you hope to, that it conveys going forward? For many years, it was often the photo that was used when the story was written about the decay of our city. And it used to drive me insane when I would pick up a newspaper and it would be a story about you know, the dereliction of our great city and the visual was this train station. And I said to myself, if I could ever figure out a way and or a reason to not only restore it, but actually make it something, not just a trip down memory lane, but that plus a beacon for the future, that's what I want to do. Well, tomorrow is the big concert. Then Friday, everyone will get to walk through the halls that you just saw right there. It's incredible. It took the skilled work of over 3,100 tradesmen and women. I am so impressed and I hope everybody feels the same when they see it for themselves. We say well done, Mr. Ford. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallie.